I searched the internet and found the worst rated airsoft guns. We have a whole bunch of one star airsoft guns to go through in today's video, starting from $15 and work way up all the way to $180. And after I test each airsoft gun in today's video, there is one rule. I have to leave a honest five star review without lying. And that's gonna be pretty hard because some of these are pretty bad. I mean, one of these even ruined a kid's birthday party. So with that said, guys, let's jump straight in and start with our first airsoft gun. All right. So first up in today's video, we got the Double Eagle M301 F version. So there is the F and the P version down there. And this guy comes in at a measly $15. Now let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. Bruh. We got a little bag of BBs. And what is this thing? What the heck? Uh, looks to be some kind of part. Oh, it goes in here. <laughs> Bro, it's not even like put together. So I guess it just goes in there and that is gonna be the bolt where you actually pull this thing back. So let's go ahead and take this out and uh, read some funny one star reviews about this guy. Dustin R says, BBs explode when shoot, lol. <laughs> Ethan K says, mine lasted about two or so weeks. The chrono was a measly of 119 FPS and is only accurate to about 50 feet. All right, so we got two main assumptions with this guy. The first one is that the BBs will actually explode when you shoot them. So I'm excited to test that out and see if it actually will do that. And then the second assumption is this guy only shoots 119 FPS and the range is only good for about 50 feet. So let's go ahead and test those out right now. Hey, not too bad. All right, we're gonna be using point tools for all the airsoft guns in today's video. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it's got a safety right there. Boop. Oh, wow. Let me do a couple more just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. All right, it wasn't a fluke. All right, nice. This guy is shooting about 190 FPS with 0.34 joules. Looks like we're about 18 yards or more than 50 feet. Hey, not too bad. All right, so we're gonna scoop back a little bit more and uh, see how far this guy can really shoot. All right, now we're at 26 yards. Let's see how this guy would do at this range. Come on, little guy, you got this. Hey. Hey. My review, five stars. I have no idea what this is, but what I do know is it shoots more than 119 FPS and 50 feet. All right, up next, what do we got in this box? Let's check it out. Boop. Well, it looks like underneath the wrapping paper, we got this bad boy. <laughs> and this guy is the Game Face Mini Pulse M74. And this guy comes in at a whopping $28. Is this actually electric? Oh my God. <laughs> I thought this guy was gonna be like a spring dude, but I guess it is fully electric. That's pretty funny. As you can see, this is like one of these like tiny shrunken down versions of an airsoft gun. Pretty funny, the tiny little stock, the like tiny little rail system. This guy is absolutely adorable. <laughs> So these reviewers actually do not have names because of the website, but here we go. We got lots of fun ones for this guy. Reviewer number one says, this is the worst possible gun to get. Do not buy this gun unless you don't mind throwing away after a handful of uses. Reviewer number two says, my gun lasted four days. I was very disappointed. What happened was the internal gear shifted around and destroyed itself. And the last one, of course, not durable. Dropped it once, not very high either. Two pieces broke off, not made very durable. The first assumption with this guy is the gears are super super grindy and sound terrible. And then the gears after a while seem to strip and basically become useless and actually it destroys itself. So we'll go ahead and test it out too. And then the second assumption is the BBs will actually jam within the system, making the airsoft gun become useless as well. And then the third and final assumption with this guy is someone accidentally dropped it and it actually broke into a couple different pieces. So we'll definitely have to test it out and do a little drop test on this guy. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need to do with this guy to load it up is put the batteries in the grip down here. This guy takes four AAA batteries. So we'll go ahead and load those guys up. Oh, that's not good. It looks like the grip is like separating. <laughs> Embarrassingly enough, it did take me quite a long time to figure out where to put the BBs, but uh, you basically just open up the scope at the top right there and they go in this little spot right there. Let's actually just do a couple test shots and see how far it goes. Oh, what? What? No, it's not even feeding BBs. Come on, man. No! Yeah, it looks like it jams somewhere and is not even feeding BBs whatsoever. Damn it! Well, of course the other assumptions are all right. Basically this thing is a piece of junk. A Let's go ahead and test out the other assumption and see if this guy will break if we drop it. All right, so the guy said he didn't drop it that far. So I don't know what that far means. Like, is it like a foot? Is it two feet? Why are you bullying me? Hey, it survived. Uh-oh. 
What are these? Dude, these like little copper balls came out of nowhere. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what that is from. That's not good. All right, maybe that fixed our issue. Let's see if it'll work now. What? <laughs> it actually shoots now. What the heck? I actually fixed it by dropping it. No way, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> this is not professional advice, but if your airsoft gun does not work, just drop it and it'll start working. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Well, now that this guy actually shoots, let's go ahead and test the FPS out. All right, looks like the FPS is 104.9 and the joules are 0 0.1, so basically zero. <laughs> it's pretty inconsistently shooting, but uh, let's test the RPS out. All right, it looks like, uh, I don't know if that's actually accurate, but it looks like we're getting about five rounds per second. And of course, let's see if this guy can get to the target. Hey! <laughs> My review, five stars. This airsoft gun has special powers. It broke, but then I dropped it and it fixed itself. What other airsoft gun do you know that can do that? All right, coming in at $53, we have the Well D94S. Bro, this has some crazy translation, bro. Equipped new magazine, new device. Every time install BB, 400 pieces, bullets, half automatically chain. What? Ascending filled ones, chaining can shoot BB, 80 to 100 pieces, BBs also can shoot while chaining. What? These are crazy. Battery operate blaze away gun. Battery operate alone shoot gun. What? And they say the range is about 75 feet or 25 meters, which I'd be probably pretty surprised this thing is pretty cheap. So we'll have to test that out, of course. Bro, that translation is insane, dude. All right, well, let's see what this guy looks like. That is some insane stuff. Looks like we got a little instruction slash owner manual. And it looks like this guy is in a... some nice little plastic covering. This guy actually comes with two separate magazines. I did not expect that. So we also have a charger and a battery. So this guy's a fully electric airsoft gun. This has to be like one of the cheapest like full scale airsoft guns I've ever seen. I mean, it's kind of full scale. It's like, it seems a little bit smaller than normal airsoft AGs, but I think it's pretty relatively close to full scale. It looks like the magazines are high caps. Let's go ahead and take this guy out and read some funny one star reviews about this guy. If I could even take this thing out, damn. Come on, man, we got a video to make with you. What are you doing? All right, we got Dirk Air Zero up first. He says it is terrible. The BBs would jam every few shots. And then the next day later, it just straight up broke. That is correct. One day later. And of course, next up we have Devel J. And he says, I had to literally flip the damned gun upside down just to fire, which eliminates the purpose of the sights. Then he said, hell, I bought a spring pistol for $7 and it was way better quality. So the first assumption with this guy is it'll actually cause a jam within the system after firing at some point and basically cause the airsoft gun to break. The second assumption is it actually has problems feeding the BBs. And then the last assumption with this guy is it'll basically break within a day. So we'll go ahead and do some shooting tests and basically see if this guy would just randomly break. The first thing we're gonna test with this guy is to see if it even actually feeds BBs. If you were curious, the actual battery is hidden in this little handguard up here. And this guy is a tiny little 700 milliamp, 4.8 volt. I didn't even know they made smaller than 8.4 volt for airsoft guns. You basically just put this guy in here and hide it in the handguard up here. This guy is definitely pretty cheap and plasticky, but uh, uh it kind of works. There we go. Oh, maybe not. Bruh. And this guy does have the actual safe, obviously, like the normal M4s do, but this guy's an extra safe actually on the motor grip right here. So you actually have to be holding down this button right there to actually be able to shoot this guy, which is pretty weird. So let's go ahead and shoot this guy and see if it even feeds. Oh. What the f***? Ha! Oh my gosh. Ha <laughs> ha. It's like jamming the button like every time I shoot. That's weird. Oh my god. Dude, that is literally the most unaccurate or something I've ever seen in my entire life. That literally went like above, right, left, down. That is terrible. Look how bad this is. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Okay, well at least it feeds. So the first assumption is debunked. The BBs are like barely floating to the target. I gotta see what the FPS is. Oh my gosh, 110.9, 107, 115. Jeez, that is bad. Of course you gotta test out the rounds per second. Wow, it says nine rounds per second. Uh, I don't know about that one. All right, so it hasn't actually broken yet, but let's go ahead and do a couple more magazines with this guy and see if it just randomly breaks. Ha <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> this is the most inconsistent air I've ever shot. I gotta scoot to this range to even have a fair chance of hitting the target. Oh, just randomly was firing without me pressing the trigger. Later. All right, so that is two full magazines through this guy and some random full auto dry firing and this guy actually survived So it did uh, pass our assumptions my review five stars. It's trash, but not that trash All right up next we got a wombo combo, wombo combo. Oh! Included in this package we have the mayhem pistol and then the m47b shotgun and of course we get this handsome lad included in the box as well oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy on the box has some pretty big claims and a lot to live up to. They both are actually spring power. No electronics with these guys. This whole box comes in at $55. And apparently the pistol can shoot 225 feet per second. And then of course the shotgun shoots 370 FPS, which is pretty insane for a cheap airsoft gun. So we'll put that to the test and see if it actually is correct. And apparently the shotgun you can do a slam fire thing, which basically shoots as fast as you can pump. So I'm really curious to see and test that feature out. Holy, okay, I didn't expect this pistol to be so big. Whoa, look at this thing, bro. <laughs> what the heck? And apparently this guy actually comes with a red dot sight as well. So as you can see right here, I guess this guy just straps on at the top right there. We'll have to test it out and see if it works very soon. And it looks like the shotgun is up here. I like the ghost theme. It's kind of like black and gray on the actual airsoft gun. So pretty cool. But without further ado, let's go ahead and read some funny one-star reviews about these guys. All right, only one review with this guy. Sarah C says, do not buy. I got it and it broke after 50 or 60 shots in two days. Very specific, but that's what we like with the review. So this guy's pretty simple. There's only one main assumption that will actually test out 50 or 60 shots and see if it'll just break. So we only really have that one assumption with this kit right here, but let's actually do some side missions as well. First, we got to test out that slam fire mode to see if that even works. That was advertised on the box. And then we'll actually test out the different FPS for the pistol and the shotgun and see if it actually lives up to what is on the box as well. So for this guy, it was 225 FPS. And for this guy, it was a whole 380. First up, let's test the pistol's FPS. <laughs> That's so quiet. 143.2 FPS with 0 0.19 joules. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, I got 0.20s loaded in. Let's see if it shoots 380. Bruh, I think that says 280. Bruh. Didn't even hit the target. Oh, yikes. It's definitely got to scoot up a little bit, though. Sometimes the slide does not want to come back. What the heck? Is it stuck? Oh, there we go. Definitely not aligned with the red dot sight at all. What? I went straight to the right. There we go. Yeah, this guy is terrible. There's one. Right when I say that, of course. Now it sets the range and accuracy out with this guy. Whoa. This guy is definitely way better than that pistol. Now let's test out that slam fire mode. So I'm gonna leave my finger all the way compressing the trigger down and then go ahead and just like rack this back and forward and see if it shoots. Hey, it works. <laughs> now, of course, there's only one more assumption to test. Let's actually see if this guy will get through 50 or 60 BBs without breaking. This kind of sucks, but I think each magazine only holds like 15 BBs or something like that. So it looks like we're gonna have to do about four magazines for this guy. Good thing we have our slam fire mode to shoot even faster. All right, last magazine, let's see if it breaks. Hey, it survived. That means our assumption is debunked. Good job, little guy. Last but not least, I wanna thank me. <laughs> My review is of course a five star. Two words, wombo combo. All right, boys, Timmy is back for this one. 
this package actually is $90. And this guy is another Game Face Ghost kind of like addition airsoft package. So it does come with a full AEG, like pretty much like MP5K with the stock. And we also have a pistol down here. This is called the R22 pistol, but this like MP5K looking thing up here doesn't really have a name, but the actual package of this thing is called the Affliction Airsoft Kit. According to the box, the pistol actually shoots 80 FPS higher than the actual like full electric MP5K. So that's very interesting. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got in here. All right, this is all the junk that comes in this box, I guess. <laughs> I had to actually get this used on eBay because it was actually pretty hard to find this online for some reason when I was shopping for it. Looks like we have a little uh, white mysterious box in here. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is the actual charger. So I'm not sure how to actually charge this guy up yet, but I'll figure it out. But this guy is a fully electric airsoft gun. Damn, this thing is so light. That's crazy. And it has a fully exposed gearbox in there. So you can see those tiny little terrible plastic gears actually in there, which is pretty funny. It's definitely pretty cool to be able to see your own gearbox, but usually that means the airsoft gun is probably pretty cheap. This thing is so weird. So it actually uses like a M4 magazine, not even a MP5 slash MP5K magazine with this guy. So it's already off to a weird start. But the BBs actually do not get fed up in the actual magazine. The magazine is actually a battery. So you can see those little two silver pieces at the top. All you have to do is plug this guy up in there and then plug it in the wall. And that's basically your battery, which is pretty insane. Of course, we get the stock right there and you do get a little scope with this guy. So apparently you can actually feed the BBs through here and then they go through that little hole at the bottom. And I guess that feeds up in this hole right there. And then that's pretty much how this guy works. And as far as the uh, usability with this guy, I think it doesn't really have an actual red dot sight, but you can look through it as just like a uh, cylinder, like tube looking thing. So I guess you could sort of call it a scope. Maybe not. I have no idea. I'm not a scientist. And then this is the actual little pistol right here. Pretty simple. It just, I think a standard little spring guy. Yeah, nothing crazy. But of course this guy is in the video for a reason. This guy got some terrible reviews. Let's go ahead and sit down and read some one star reviews. First up for this guy, we got Rock 2 and he says terrible. The rifle broke almost instantly and the pistol is very bad. Next up we got Tommy with lots of twos 830 and he says I bought this today and BBs fell all through nothing shot through the suppressor snap when I tried to get it off this is a waste of money do not buy this next up we have Lane Don and he says this product was my first airsoft gun this thing sucked and the battery broke within an hour and then he says I think I'd rather get a knockoff nerf gun and take it to the airsoft field oh boy shots fired last but certainly not least we have a no name person and this person said rifle broke after two days after I got it and my friend got one and it broke too. The pistol jammed too. I would not recommend buying this. Yeah, if I were you, I probably wouldn't either. Let's get into this. The first assumption with this guy is the electric MP5K will basically just break instantly. The second assumption is BBs will basically just roll through the barrel and basically the airsoft gun won't even shoot. And then of course, for our last and final assumption with this guy, we have to test out the pistol. So our assumption with the pistol is it'll jam and then also be super inaccurate. So let's go ahead and test it out. All right, BBs are loaded up. We got our M4 magazine, of course, in here. Let's see how this guy works. Wow, the FPS is actually terrible. I did not expect that. Wow, it's like under 100 FPS and under basically 0.1 joules. That is not ideal. All right, looks like the uh, rounds per second is 5.6. All right, do we see BBs coming out of the barrel? I don't think so. That's a good sign. Let's see what this range is all about. Ooh, that is some bad range. Got to scoot way up here. Damn. It's like still barely getting to the target. Like I don't even know, it's like 35, 40 feet away. That's so bad. This guy sounds like it's gonna die. It is pretty cool to be able to actually see the mechanism working in there though. This guy definitely sounds like it's gonna die though. <laughs> Oh, I think it just died. <laughs> that lasted a whole, like, I don't even know, like 50 shots. That's terrible. I did the recommended four hour charger's battery and it's already dead. That is crazy. Let's see what this guy's FPS is just to test it out. Wow, that sounds kind of crispy. It looks like we're getting 205 FPS with 0 0.39 joules. Damn, actually pretty impressive. Wow, jeez. Dang, dude. Damn, we got one in the yellow. I think another one in the yellow, maybe the red. Not bad. And my boy didn't jam. This guy is definitely way better than the last pistol we shot. My review, five stars. Four hour charge for 50 shots. I'd say that's a great deal. World's first MP5K that takes a M4 mag. Bonus, 
pistol has better range than the MP5K. All right, we got the last game face product of the video. Of course, our boy Timmy is back. Sets me their soul. And this guy is the GF76, and this guy comes in at a whopping $160, so definitely up in the price quite a bit. This guy shoots a whopping 375 feet per second. We'll actually test it out because I doubt this guy shoots that high, and also comes with a battery and charger. Adjustable hop-up, which is definitely the first one for today that can actually adjust the full hop-up. And this guy looks like to be some form of a AK-74U, so we'll go ahead and open this up and check it out. All right, so we got our manual and stuff like that. Wow, it looks like we actually have some BBs that actually come with this guy. And they are 6 millimeter seamless airsoft BBs. Wow, so fancy. Yeah, it looks like it has heavy ammo advertised on here, which is pretty funny because this is like the lightest gram of BBs I would ever recommend using on an airsoft gun. And it looks like this guy actually comes with some kind of like little feeding nozzle. So you can just like load your BBs up like that. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Looks like we do have a little charger right here. And then I'm not sure if it comes with a battery or not, but it probably should if it comes with a charger, right? I'm not really sure. We got a super bad little sling included right there and a magazine right here that looks to be a high cap with a crazy little warning. It says load magazine, insert magazine, in gun, wind wheel 50 to 60 times. What? All right, and of course, let's go ahead and take this guy out and check it out. So first impression, this guy is actually quite a bit heavier than all the other ones in the video. Looks like it has a adjustable stock to go back here. Pretty cool. Well, let's go ahead and sit down and check out some one-star reviews about this guy. Alrighty, so a whole bunch of no-name reviews yet again. The first one says, It's terrible. Bought this for my son's birthday and it broke after using it one time. Damn, that birthday was ruined. Dude, this thing literally ruined a kid's birthday party. That's so messed up. Alright, next up, it shoots around 120 FPS and is worthless. People say they can't even feel a thing when it hits them. I would recommend this gun for a three-year-old. Don't buy it. Save yourself $120. Wait, you paid $120? I paid $160 for mine. Oh no. The last person says, in less than a week, it completely stopped working. I took it to a repair place and they told me how three of the gears were cracked. Yikes. All right, the first assumption is, oh, basically it's break instantly. The second assumption is this guy only shoots 120 FPS and people don't even feel it when you actually shoot them on the field. The last and final assumption is the internals on this guy are absolutely terrible. The gears themselves will crack and separate and causing this guy to basically just break down. So let's go ahead and test all these theories out. First things first, let's test out the FPS. We're hoping for over 120 here. Let's see what happens. Huh? What? Oh, there we go. What the heck? Semi just didn't work for some reason. There we go. Damn. Hey! Looks like we're shooting about 280 FPS with 0.73 joules. That's over double our assumption, so already off to a good start. Now, of course, we're gonna run a mag or two through this thing and see if it breaks, but of course, let's do a little accuracy and range test for this guy. Dang, all right, off to a pretty good start. Let's actually scoot a little bit further back and see how this guy does. Very solid performance. Let's test some full auto out. Woo! This magazine also holds a lot of BBs. I think that wasn't even half. Nice. This guy is definitely the best one in the video so far. You could probably even feel this guy if you wanted to. Now I'm just gonna like dry fire this guy and see if anything breaks for like 30 seconds. One minute later. There's a little bit of heat coming from the motor grip area, but that is definitely normal. So yeah, this guy definitely passes all the tests. That is pretty impressive actually. My review? Five stars. Wow, okay, not too bad. I would even go as far as saying it's a fieldable airsoft gun. All right, up next, this guy is the AW Custom Ace Competitor Full Auto Gas Blowback Pistol. And this guy comes in at a whopping $180. Let's go ahead and take this guy out and check it out. 
Wow, so first off impressions, obviously this guy's lots of fun colors. Got gold, black, red, and silver on this guy. Pretty cool little design. This guy's definitely pretty dang expensive, so to have one star reviews at this price point is pretty rare. I'm very curious to see what people say about this guy now. Christopher E says, so, so disappointed in this gun. Looks great and seems to fire great when at work. Used once and upon firing, the safety fell onto the floor. Ian E says, does not last, do not buy, with four exclamation points. He is serious about that one. He said, looks amazing and externals are not too bad, but the internals suck. It will malfunction and full auto will use up all the green gas. Raphael K says, at first shot, the front piece of the outer barrel fell off. Not sure what to think of that. Garbage comes to mind. <laughs> Maddox F says, warning, after 200 rounds, starting to break down. The first assumption to test with this guy is basically after firing it, the safety will just fall off. The second assumption with this guy is the green gas magazine will already be broke when you receive the airsoft gun. And also the magazine, if it does work, will just basically use up all your green gas. So it's really bad on green gas efficiency. I think the last assumption with this guy to test out is after 200 rounds, it'll basically start malfunctioning and basically just break down. All right, so I loaded up the magazine with green gas and so far it is holding green gas very well. So that's a good sign so far. We're gonna go ahead and do a little chronograph with this guy and see the RPS and as well as the FPS and then do a little shooting test just to see if this magazine will actually work. And then the other two theories of this guy basically breaking and the safety falling off, we'll actually go ahead and do a 200 round cycle with this guy and go through seven different magazines and see if this guy will basically break itself. Looks like the FPS is 257.9 and the joules is 0.62 and the rounds per second is a 15.9. Looks like we got about half a magazine left. Let's go ahead and shoot the target and see what it does. Whew. And now let's actually go ahead and shoot through six more magazines getting to our 200 BB mark. All right, this will be our third magazine. That was a lot of smoke, damn. All right, fourth one up next. Whoa. Oof. One more BB left. So you'll start to notice once the magazines start to get a little bit more cold after a few refills of green gas, the airsoft gun will definitely have a little bit more problem with cycling through the full magazine. These gas fallback airsoft pistols definitely do not like the cold. Oh, that is so much gas, holy. The magazine that actually came with this airsoft gun is actually proving to be pretty decent. Obviously you can see it's kind of like uh, getting a little bit cool on the top there. It's kind of like freezing over a little bit. Still holding gas surprisingly. So the outer barrel thing has not fallen off yet, but uh, it's definitely pretty wobbly. I can definitely see how over time it could still fall off. The safeties actually seem to be pretty solid in there as well. So this guy's not breaking yet. We got two more magazines to go though. Holy. You can actually see the nozzle in there start to freeze too. That's crazy. I only need to get through one more magazine. Come on, little buddy, you could do it. All right, seventh magazine. Let's see if it passes. Oh, <laughs> this thing is definitely getting pretty cold. You can see like the outer barrel as well as the nozzle and the slide actually like pretty much freezing over. Look at the little like water spots that are frozen on the top. That's crazy. But yet this guy still went through the full magazine. So I'm pretty dang impressed with this guy. My review, five stars. Sure, it's full auto only, so you probably can't use it at your local fuel, but that's okay because your local rentals don't want the smoke. No, seriously, this guy makes a lot of smoke. It'll give Snoop Dogg a run for his money. Oof, all right, definitely the biggest one for today's video. This guy comes in at the same price as that previous pistol. This one is $180. All right, get ready for the mouthful of a name that this guy has. So this guy is called the Prima Airsoft P-Force AGM MP008 M14 Battle Rifle Airsoft AG. <laughs> you serious? That is a crazy name. Will it live up to it? Let's go ahead and see what this guy looks like. Of course, we get a huge manual right there. Auto electric airsoft gun. All right, go ahead and turn this bad boy around and check it out a little bit further. So this guy is a pretty big boy, as you can see. It comes with a charger, a battery, and then it looks like we have two separate magazines as well. So that's pretty nice. Free real estate, I'll pee my pants. And it looks like someone already removed the actual plastic before we even got to this thing. So that's not a good sign. Maybe it broke in the shipping process or someone actually messed with this guy before we actually got it. So uh, not ideal. <laughs> 
Let's check out the magazines real quick. It looks like they are actually full high cap of magazines where you scroll at the bottom and it looks like he put the BBs at the top right there. But of course, let's go ahead and check out this bad boy. Ooh, that is a heavy boy. Obviously the build quality of this guy is not the best. You can see like a huge misalignment on the actual plastic body as well. Not the best quality right there. Looks like this guy was like glued together or something crazy like that. And it has a crazy bad screech when you actually pull back the bolt. Oof. And then when you actually release it though, it sounds pretty cool. So it's like screech and then cool sound. <laughs> but of course, let's go ahead and talk about this guy's crazy one star reviews. Matthew P says performance out of the box was very disappointing with 0.20 BBs dropping like a rock at less than 100 feet. Houston E says Magwell does not fit the mags that come with the gun. The front end of the mag does not stay in place. Yanni R says this gun has a very high rate of fire. Now you might think that's a good thing, but when shooting in auto, the gun misfeeds a lot. The first assumption with this guy is the mags will not properly fit into the Magwell and will fall out super easily. And then the second assumption is the air soft gun has a big problem feeding on full auto. And then the last assumption with this guy is using 0.20 BBs and turning the hop all the way on. It won't even shoot 100 feet and the BBs basically drop like a rock before that. So let's go ahead and test it out. Alright, so let's see if this magazine fits. Alright, uh, well it seems to fit and it seems like it will feed hopefully. Let's check it out. Yep, it does feed. Let's see if it's fitting in very well. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. <laughs> You can literally just wiggle it out. What? Bro, check this out. Two fingers. <laughs> That's so bad. I wonder if we could get this guy to like wiggle out just like out of the ordinary. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so the magazine thing is definitely correct. That is terrible. All right, so we got the hop up all the way on and we're about 100 feet away. Let's check this out. Oh, yikes. Yikes, this thing actually sounds terrible too. Okay, so it does get to the target about 100 feet away, but I have to aim quite a bit above the target. So yeah, they're right. The hop-up is basically useless with this guy. And I had no idea, but apparently this guy does have full auto. It's this little switch right here. So if you take this guy and switch it all the way 180 degrees, then you're now in full auto mode, I guess. Oh, that sounds bad. Well, it feeds full auto. As you could hear, it kind of went like up and down the rounds for a second. That was kind of weird. The magazine, they're right. You could basically just like wiggle this thing out with like no effort. Oh wait, now it's stuck in there. What? Okay, I literally figured it out. Instead of like loading it up like I was before, you actually have to like load it up like this, like almost like an AK and like kind of like jam it in there like that. And then once you do that, this guy is actually super solid now. I guess people were just loading it wrong. I kind of understand because I was loading it wrong at first too. My review, five stars. Hop up doesn't work, but that's okay because it looks like a piece of art with the beautiful crack throughout the whole body.